This is uh, Jim Gibson with Cable Supply and we're looking at uh, an install. Uh, pretty nice install. Uh, obviously you can see category 6 and you can see the, uh, the different patch panels and uh, the wire management which is excellent. You should always have wire management and of course wire management on the side also. So these are the, the side wire managements. So if you're taking a cable from here and you need to move it down to there, you would naturally go from here into the cable management down. These things open up. Okay. I don't know how they open up uh, these, but that brand. Uh, but that's how you do it. Uh, also like the power. Uh, of course, I always like my power um, switches or outlets to be in the back and the control to be in the front. It's just a lot easier than running uh, power completely around the side to get to the back. But anyway, just look at the back. See some nice professional work. Look at that work. Look at that. That is fantastic skill. Everything else be next to these Cisco routers blowing fans on me. I don't know how much you can hear when the fan is running right next to the mic. But uh, looks pretty good. Really nice job. Look at that feed cable. Look how nice and neat that is going up there. Now this room's a mess, to be honest with you, but it's not the fault of the recent installers. Uh, you can see what was there before. That's called unprofessional, cheap job, lowest bid in some cases. Uh, rather than hiring an experienced professional, you end up with what you see there on the left. On the right, uh, you end up with uh, nice, neat cables with Velcro. I'm sorry, hook and loop. May not be Velcro. Don't want to misuse the name. A hook and loop uh, tie wraps. And then they did something neat here. So when they attach it to the frame, they're using hook and loop, and then they're using um, tie wraps. Now, the nice thing about these tie wraps here is they're not crunch down. You don't want to tighten things so tight that uh, it, it's going to disform the cable. So it's nice that they have that hook and loop right here and then they put the tie wraps on top and they attach it right there to the wall. So that's excellent work. Excellent work. This is work to be proud of. Uh, I would be proud of this and if my people were the ones installing this I would be proud of them too. This is fantastic work. Just really like it. This is the way it should be done. And I'm trying to get in there so you can see it, how tight each of those punch down is. I like the fact that they they bring this out a little bit, you know, they, they're not tight up against it, but you can do it that way, you know, where you, you run the cable um, this way, um, sorry, you run the cable this way along the tracks and then in, but this is a nice way. You want to keep the sweep the sweeps. You can see the sweep here uh, flowing. You don't want any sharp 90 degrees uh, when it comes to the higher categories uh, because that can affect uh, the uh, performance of the cable. Really nice, nice, nice work. Top notch. Also notice um, that the tie wraps are basically in the right place. I mean, you know, coordinated all the way across. And you can see that all the way up. Uh, and it's nice and tight. You know, when you do it this way, you're going to have less problems in the future. And so they're getting ready to, uh, it looks like, um, uh, get things going. Uh, of course, they have managed switches here, which is great. That's what you should have. And uh, you should, <laughs> we're getting a little bit into cybersecurity. Uh, but uh, VLAN 1 should only be used for the management of, uh, 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 of switches. It should not have anything else. It shouldn't have any users on VLAN 1, but that's another story. They're not going to be doing the programming of the switches, and I am not privy as to uh, how they're going to program them, but it really looks good. They've done a nice job. Old job, poor job. Sometimes it gets messy like this after years, so it might have been installed properly but it gets messy after years years and years and years of work but uh, someone doesn't maintain this it really gets 
pretty messy after a while. You know, the floor, I tripped over that cable right there just a second ago, but it's a mess. It's hard to, uh, it is very hard to, uh, to troubleshoot and manage this when there's just a total mess. I mean, you know, even the supplier, the, uh, uh, the coax looks pretty bad. It's not nice and neat. But I think you've seen this on another video. I do like that grounding uh, strip, copper grounding strip, and uh, nicely grounded. I, I don't I haven't tested the ground, so I don't know how good it is, but it looks like it's done right. I like that. Uh, but I also noticed this extension cord plugged into a the uh, circuit that's supposed to be reserved just for uh, computers and telecom equipment. So that's probably that's improper. Um, I can follow it out. It's a construction site, so someone's probably using uh, a saw or a drill or something like that. And, um, you know, it's just not the way to do it. It's probably not going to harm in the short term anything, but it's just not the way to do it. I do remember an install once years ago where we put in some pretty expensive uh, uh, T1 circuits with uh, T1 modems and stuff like that. And that kept on burning out because they had the microwave, the, the the refrigerator, the coffee machine, the toaster, the toaster oven, all attached to the same circuit. So when there was break time, everybody ran in there and and turned everything on, and that would you know run uh, that would cause problems in the telecom room. So you got to have your uh, your isolated circuits. And in America, because I know other people have made that comment. That in their country it's different, but in America, the orange 110 outlets are is supposed to be isolated circuits, isolated from everyone else, and the ground is isolated also. So that's what you have. So nice install here, really like it. Looks fantastic. This job is not done yet. It's going to have some more work on it. Um, hopefully they'll pay them to clean up this mess a little bit too. Don't know.